So I'd come to it, renal cell carcinoma is a form of differentiation of renal cell carcinoma. So renal cell carcinoma uh, is traditionally divided into clear cell and non-clear cell subtypes. Uh, about 70% of all renal cell carcinoma is clear cell renal cell carcinoma. Um, but um, um, uh, it can transform into something that we call sarcomatoid, and that happens for both the clear cell as well as the non-clear cell and renal cell carcinomas. And that re represents a change from an epithelial tumor to something that looks more mesenchymal. Sarcomatoid renal cell carcinoma is very challenging to treat. Um, and just to put it in perspective, the median overall survival for patients with sarcomatoid renal cell carcinoma that have advanced stage 4 disease is actually less than a year. It's estimated to be around 10 months. Um, it is not clear why, uh, after the tumors differentiate into a sarcomatoid um, and renal cell carcinoma, why they are so hard to treat. But part of the challenge of the sarcomatoid renal cell carcinoma is that it doesn't respond to conventional therapies, and that's why the, the survival rates are so low. So, uh, data that is being presented at ASCO shows that sarcomatoid renal cell carcinoma responds quite well to immune checkpoint inhibitor containing combinations. And there is data from three different trials. Uh, in the Pembroaxi trial, where, where the sarcomatoid population was a, a defined uh, secondary uh, endpoint for analysis, they found overall response rates of 60%. This is very remarkable. And there were similar response rates that were observed in the context of uh, the Checkmate 214 trial involving nivolumab and nepolumumab, as well as uh, the Emotion uh, 151 trial, uh, which involved bevacizumab in combination with atezolizumab. The new treatments are significantly impacting patient survival, and we've gone from a median survival of about 10 months, and just under a year prior to checkpoint inhibitor therapy, to now a median survival of two and a half years with a combination of nivolumab and nepolumumab in patients with sarcomatoid kidney cancer. Um, so, so that's an interesting question, right? So, which is, you know, what, what, what is the next step? So one could argue that in as much as the combination of ipilimumab and nivolumab and the combination of pembrolizumab and axetinib are standards of care today, and those treatments are already available to our patients with uh, sarcomatoid renal cell carcinoma. Um, but given the uh, aggressive nature of the disease and the enhanced sensitivity to checkpoint inhibitors, one uh, should also ask whether it would make sense to do trials in patients that have uh, more localized disease um, before they develop metastatic disease, uh, trials in the neoadjuvant and in the adjuvant setting to reduce the frequency uh, with which these patients will go on to progress to metastatic kidney cancer. So I think that, that, that is a question that we need to uh, consider uh, as a field. Uh, and, and it's specifically whether to focus some of the efforts on clinical trials in the adjuvant set setting um, on the patient population that has sarcomatoid tumors.